Hi. Um, I'm kind of in a serious mood right now. Um, that doesn't mean I still don't laugh. There are troubles in the world, that's true. There's a lot of trouble in the world. There's a lot of terrible, horrific things happening. Not any of which I have any experience of. And it's sad, because I feel like I'm dead to the world. I'm numb, and I'm sleeping. I don't have any direct contact with the suffering of others. And for me to sit here and talk about it like I know is utter bullshit. And the sad thing is that I don't know. You know, I can list off all the things I've heard. People dying in Africa of starvation. People dying of dehydration in China. Or what have you. But the truth is, I don't know. I'm here in my perfect little bubble. With my perfect little insights my perfect little world and my sad little never ending day of insanity and meanwhile there's real disaster in the world and I'm sitting here making videos of me playing with my dog and if and I've heard a lot about the world coming to an end. And I've seen a lot about the world coming on to the end on YouTube. And it, to be honest, it scares the living daylights out of me. It does. I tremble when I watch the videos. The medication that I take has kind of gotten that under control now, which is sad. <laughs> because I'm medically controlled. I'm chemically controlled. I can't get too upset about anything. I can't get too happy about anything. That's just not possible for me anymore. And I hate that. I want to change that. I want to get off this medication. I want to get out into the world. I want to experience other people's suffering. And I want to do something about it. I'm tired of being a consumer advocate. I'm tired of being some government's mule, you know? And not even a government, because their government's an illusion. It isn't real. And they know that just as well as you do. Any day, they could just take it away and say, new government, deal with it. Because now we've taken all your money and built up a huge military against you. And that's just sucks that we're sitting here every day consuming while they create a new government and say one day, well, like it or not, you're under a new government now. And we're all just sitting here watching TV and falling deeper into sleep. And we can't even touch somebody else's suffering, somebody else's humanity, let alone our own. We're not even aware of our own suffering. Or if we are, it's, we're so involved in it that we can't step outside and see it for one minute. <laughs> We're too busy whining about it. We're complaining about how we don't have enough of this, or we don't have enough of that, or how somebody else has more, or somebody has, well, never how somebody has less. Or maybe even that. Maybe some of us are just complaining about how there's less in the world for other people, and how, how dare it be that way. But nonetheless, I'm not going to give up what I have. I don't know. I don't want to be preachy. I wanted to come on and share my own personal feelings about the subject. The lack of feeling that I have. The lack of compassion. Not to say that I don't get weepy when I... Well, no, it's just the lack of compassion. Because I'm sitting here with this preordained behavior pattern. This consciousness that just eats up the spotlight and just doesn't want to stop and consider for one moment the reality of what's going on in this world. I mean, we're dying. Every one of us is dying. Faster than we know. From pollutants, toxins, 
same thing, but you know what I mean. This, not this. I mean, just again, I don't know. But there is a pollution in this world that I am aware of. I may not be able to put it in words, but I'm certainly aware of the pollution that is killing us, and it's not in the air. It's a lack of awareness. It's a lack of understanding. It's a, not even that. It's just, yeah, I don't know. A lack of compassion. All I can say is that every day I get up, eat breakfast, smoke a cigarette, masturbate, pet my dog, not necessarily in that order. Shower. Masturbate again. Shower again. Go to the bathroom. Cook dinner. Eat dinner. Go to bed. All without any real connection to anything. I've got this screen in front of me. on a daily basis, feeding me all the things I want to see, but none of the things I need to see. It's just sad. It's sad. It's so sad I laugh about it. Because what am I going to do about this? What are... Never mind. It's stupid. Don't you feel dead inside? Or do all your little band-aids, have they got you thinking that everything's going to be okay? My positive thinking has gone out the window. When I feel a buzz, when I feel a buzz of ignorance, not even ignorance, it's a blockade to my mind and a pain in my heart. And an inability to express any remorse for the people of this world. And then people in my own country. Me. I mean, and you. All of us suffering and distracting ourselves with these little games we play. I'm just tired of it. I don't want any more of it. It's time to change. And not, I don't think the way Obama has planned for us. That man scares me. It took him less rhetoric to get into office than Hitler. Hitler had to do w more work and more convincing than Obama had to do. I'm not comparing the two right now. I'm just comparing the situation. That man came in and said, change, and everybody voted for him. Okay? It's creepy. One word, change, and everybody voted for him. Not everybody. Obviously, it was kind of a close race, but still, it really wasn't. <laughs> with electoral votes and all. I mean, who's to say that Indiana's votes are less important than Florida's? I mean, what a ridiculous notion, right? But I guess electoral votes are decided by, what, population? Not even. So, what the hell? I don't get it. I don't, I don't even, that's the other thing. I don't even know enough about my own government, my own political system. So this is my own little gripe, I guess, about how sad I am. How numb I am. Really, when it comes down to it. All I can do is laugh at my own little pitiful jokes. A lot of you told me to get help. Well, I'm getting it. But know this. Sometimes, a nice video like this. <laughs> what I mean to say is, maybe instead of sending me remarks that say... You need help. Maybe instead a nice suggestion about what I might do instead. You know? So let's suggest to one another what we might do instead. <laughs>